Ooh. Okay. Uh, I'm Darius Bob. And I'm Kaylin. Uh, and our project was kind of a mini RPG, I guess. Escape from the zoo. Right here is like an opening cut scene. Um, so there's these cute little animals, and they're going to try and escape the zoo. Yeah. Um, the, the premise of our idea was that we wanted to have um, different animals that you could control that each had different ways of moving with the connect and we wanted the ways of moving to kind of um i guess connect with the ways that uh the animals themselves move so we have you know the gecko and the frog who move very differently the penguin and the rhino um so we have four different types of controls that correspond with each animal um so the the goal of the game is about to pop up on the screen. It's going to be great. Wow, well, I never expected that. Um, oh look, there's keys that the zookeeper just happened to put down. Um, so the, the game space is in like a, a small little zoo. The keys are just colored cubes, and they unlock the respective colored doors. Um, and so you have to use like each animal's like gimmick or special power to get each of the four keys, and then you can escape the zoo. Um, so there's like a, a frog in the pen area. <laughs> um, <laughs> and this is like the backstory. Yeah. yeah. Right. So yeah. this is so, like in Grand Theft Auto. And the yeah. Other. So cutscenes were really interesting to me. I couldn't yeah. really quite figure it out. We had like all these image files, and so it ended up being uh, a raw image with like 25 images attached to it and then a script that was like every set amount of time switched to the next image and it's like a giant long piece of code because it's like if time is greater than 50 do image 5. Okay we're in the game uh, I'm already moving around some penguin. So the controls that are universal is if I stick my left hand up I'm going to turn left. Okay if I, turn, if I use my right hand I'm going to turn right. So now the penguin's mode of walking Oops. Knocking things over. <laughs> but it's actually it's gonna be a little slow and gimmicky. <laughs> so originally the idea for the penguin was to kinda of go like this. Um which it still works. still kinda of works, oh, yeah. which is great. Because that way you kinda of waddle like a penguin, right? Um, however, uh it kind of got hard because the shoulders were really close to each other, so in the code it would be like if one shoulder is in front of the other, and because they're close, we switch it to the hands. So if you can see, I'm very loose with my hands just because it helps with the code. Um, so you saw that there was four animals, so a part of this is going to be able to switch to animals. If I could please switch to a frog. You were a frog. Same general controls with the left and right. Uh, the frog's special ability is jumping. <coughs> Which we wanted to be jump, but like the code for that was a little bit harder um, than I was like able to do because uh, it would have to take like the average of like your head position, and then whenever you had an outlier jump, so that was a little bit too much. So the frog is kind of like a crawling motion, where one hand is put in front of the other. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, we uh, um. So I, I built this entire world, and we uh, we also use sort of terraforming. Um, one thing I really wanted I wanted the zoo to be like really crappy, like like you need to feel like the animals, like you want to get out of here. So I found the worst clip art I could possibly find <laughs> of each animal. <laughs> um, and if you notice, the "Welcome to the Zoo" sign is in Comic Sans. Uh, <laughs> all of these models as well are. Um, uh, we found them for like between five to ten dollars each on the Unity Asset Store, and they came fully animated. Um, there's actually a lot of animations we didn't use, like the frog and the penguin can like eat things. Um, yeah, just make sure he doesn't jump out of the. He can't escape yet. Yeah, the game relies on a lot of uh, things the player shouldn't do, just on basic morals. So those fences currently don't do anything. They they are not collisions oh. attached to them. Yeah, I get invisible walls on them. Um, there's, a, there's a little bit of fun about here that just happens with like models and not flat surfaces. You can also see one thing we didn't uh, fix is that the horse still runs. Like the horse has like a controller attached to him that makes him run 
but he runs in place. <laughs> so whenever you move, the horse moves. I like to think it's because he secretly wants to leave with you, but he's not brave enough to do it. What's the shadow? Yeah. Sorry? The grass yeah, this is, this is grass. Um, there's a lot of grass, so it loads slowly. It's a pretty big world, actually. Um, do you want to switch? You mean, oh, um, I can keep going for a bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, the penguin is probably the slowest. Let's talk about, how about this motion right here? Uh, it was pretty fun. So we knew we wanted like a switching motion, um, but like logically, we didn't want the player to be able to just do this and then like continue going for an forever. Forever. So there had to be um, a check where uh, if like if you move using left hand in front of right once, switch like the check to left, and then you can't get back into that piece of code. But it was in a update function, and that means that it ran every frame. So it was uh, running every frame, but you could only go left or right uh, one frame. So then you were moving one frame at a time, which was hilariously slow. So the solution to that was to... Is there the invisible wall here? Yes, I'm going to show that off. So uh, penguin special ability is going to be able to slide down things. So uh, to keep other animals from using that ability is a nice little invisible wall. So I'm going to switch back to penguin and dirt on my way. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. Uh, the penguin does have like a sliding animation, but I didn't get to it. Uh, can I go back and frog? I want to try and jump. See if I can shortcut my way through this. Oh. Oh, no, okay. Um, that's unfortunate. Um, so yeah. <laughs> there was uh, like a, a counter that counted how many frames you were allowed to stick one hand in front of the other. And 30 worked pretty well. Um, it was like, it felt kind of natural with like, like a pattern that you would use or a time that you would use to swim. Um, let's see. Other things, switching <coughs> between the animals was interesting. I originally tried attaching them all to a single player and then having them move the player object so that way it moved all four of the models, whether or not they were invisible at the same time. But that kind of caused a perpetual motion thing where um, like one animal would move the player object, but then because it was attached to the player object, the player object would move the animal. So like you would hit the game and like suddenly the penguin starts like waltzing off the playing field. <laughs> um, I think I'm on flat ground. Can I switch to Rhino, please? Um, so Rhino's cool. Uh, didn't come with a collider, so it's just kind of a box. But <laughs> Rhino's way to move is to charge forward. <laughs> uh, it's kind of fun to kind of go like airplane mode. <laughs> uh, so now I'm in the gecko zone. Can I please beat gecko? Uh, gecko's ability is to climb up walls. However, due to time constraints, instead of climbing up walls, we're going to use some magic and just teleport. <laughs> uh, good enough. Uh, he's going to get his key. So would you like to talk about NPCs? Yes. So we're going to go visit some of the NPCs now. Um, there are interacts that you engage with by hitting a little <laughs> invisible collider box. Um, there's a gorilla and a horse, neither of whom want to escape with you. The gorilla's in that sad-looking cage, and the horse is, you know, standing behind him. Um, and each interact is specific to the animals. So we're going to interact with gorilla as rhino. <laughs> I need a little break, so this is good. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good exercise. Oh, no, we became the horse. Oh, why did the horse get there? <laughs> That's actually a good question. I don't know why the, the horse is behind the gorilla. <laughs> It could actually be the image. Weird. We had to make a Harambe reference. I mean, it's a gorilla in a zoo. Yeah. What are we going to do? Um, what was it interesting? Um, talk about cutscenes. Cutscenes were fun. Um, oh, it, show, it automatically goes to the horse. That's unfortunate. Well, it's OK. So this is like the interaction with the horse. But it only did part of the horse cutscene. Maybe the images were just put there back, so whatever. Anyways, so this is the horse. <clears throat> um, yeah, so as we'll find out in a minute, we're going to leave. Oh! Oh! Wow! Hey. Hey. 
a shortcut. Oh, it must have still been yeah, picking you up. Yeah, it was still up. moving. I guess I forgot to turn off input, which is great. Oh, well. Um, so we're going to go interact with. Oh, that's why it started the horse. Here, we'll switch with penguin. Oh, that's why. Yeah. So now we'll go interact. <laughs> frog is pretty good. Can I have frog? OK, we'll have frog. Um, there we go. So interesting things is like, ooh, I'm going to trigger this. Um, when I was like testing to get around, I had to choose like different animals to get around. So frog, <laughs> frog was convenient because of the jumping was pretty fast. Uh, the rhino is the fastest, but because the rhino hitbox is literally a box, uh, some weird things happened where like it would hit a log and then start flying off into space, or like flip over and tumble and crazy things. Um, so it wasn't really like the safe route to get to places. But if I was feeling angry and ambitious, um, ooh, we were tilted. Um, I would like go to Rhino and like have fun pretending to be like an airplane. It's called a Dutch angle. It's purposeful. <laughs> this is the last key. We're almost there. Uh, oh, should I switch? Not yet. I need to like line up. <laughs> is frog faster than gecko? Um, it's because of the jumps. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Rhino. So the rhino special ability is uh, being able to break down boxes and then get the key. <laughs> However, uh, it's a very tight corridor, so the rhino itself can't really join to get out. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. The sort of another part of the premise was that no. we wanted to make um, we wanted to make the characters be animals that like nobody would miss if they left the zoo, except for Rhino, who everybody would miss. So Rhino needs a lot of help. <laughs> that's, There's always a reason. That's the plot reason. Um, so if you notice at the beginning, there were doors near the entrance here. They're all gone. Um, you know, the colored keys got rid of the respective colored doors. Um, and there's also like a short ending cutscene. So I'm going to make it to the end. Welcome to the zoo. Goodbye. Freedom! Yay! Uh, <laughs> Any questions? It was a pretty thorough talk through of the whole thing. We had a lot of time. Yeah. Any, any questions? All right, awesome. Very cool.